Hi everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Gamma 2020, and I've been joined by Justin from Restoration Games. Hello. Hey Justin, so you've brought with you what I believe is an expansion for uh, one of the popular titles you have released, Downforce. Yeah, right? it's uh, one of our first games, and it's been doing great for us, so yeah. we love to continue to support it. <laughs> so this is a little flat for the uh, the map pack, right? Because that's what yeah. it is, it's a board, it's right? It's just a board uh, and a, a little bit of punch board. Um, so this is our second expansion. We had Danger Circuit, which added a new board, double-sided. Okay. Uh, and had some new powers. This one, we got 12 powers. We think we're good on that front, so we wanted to add some more fun stuff. So in this case, we've got some 3D elements. I didn't realize, uh, I, I mean, yeah. I've heard about the announcement, but I didn't realize that there was actual jumps. So we have, yeah. like, jumps like here for the cars to go yeah. fly up over. Okay. Um, so we wanted to do with this expansion is make a game that had a little bit more strategy to it, uh, maybe yes. for gamers who were, you know, a little bit more meat on the bone, as sure. it were. Uh, and really focus on some of the things that there were. There are some issues that people have with the game that we wanted to address and right. see if you know for those people we could make a board that really suited them. So this is a double-sided board. It comes with a punch board that makes these uh, little ramps. And right. then other than that, you're playing regular old downforce. Uh, but what's neat is the ramps all have a number on them. Yes. And if a car ever would enter a space with a ramp. And the printed value for that car on the car, the speed card that was played is that number or higher, it can use the ramp. Otherwise, it has to go to the side and, and take the long way. Gotcha. So if you're playing a card with a 4, 5, or a 6 on it, you can use the ramp and jump to the next space and keep going. The physics on that jump are it's crazy banked. It's a impressive. bank ramp. Oh, I see. It's a slope. <laughs> yes, right. That makes sense. Okay. okay, good explanation. It definitely works. Yeah. <laughs> um, and some of these jumps are much bigger than others. Like this one yes. looks like a giant jump yeah, over yeah. here. And, uh, and there's a double ramp, obviously, here okay. where you have to use the ramp. And then, of course, oh, we didn't put this one out, but there's I, I must have left it at the booth no. or something. But there's a, a 6 ramp here, which can get you right to the end pretty So quickly. what happens if you get to here and you don't have the 3 that you would normally you just use? Stop. Just stall and wait yeah, until you get the exactly, engine revved until up. Until somebody, yeah, <laughs> exactly. You get a running start that way. Okay. Um, and then you can even do multiple jumps. So there's a there's a way to what? get three ramps on one. If you've got if you play your speed eight at just the right time, you can hit. Uh, I think there might be one or two okay. places where you can hit three ramps and it's launch right ahead. So what okay. this really does is, a lot of people. Uh, some people felt like if once you were behind, it was hard to catch up. Uh, especially if people are betting on the leader. This, mm. uh, the ramps here offer a lot of opportunities for people in the rear to catch up. If they okay. can time those jumps, you can make up a lot of ground that way. Right. And but it's then, not a gimme. you got you to yeah, time it and got to hopefully yeah. get the, the cards right, right? For sure. Um, and then obviously if somebody else plays a card with your, they, they can choose to not use the ramp. So there's, uh, you want to make sure you have more a little more control of your car right. on this side of the board. And then if we can just flip over real quick. Sure, let's do it. Show the other side of the board. Let's get these ramps off here. Go. Uh, Car's gone. Earthquake. Um, and then we thought ramps were fun, but uh, that these uh, racers needed a little bit more of a challenge, so we gave them some wild animals to deal with. So <laughs> this is a Savannah Stretch here. We've got an elephant, we've got a, <laughs> a, a boa constrictor, and we've got some antelope here. And um, and we're not looking at a loop here. I've, I'm no, it's too, our right? first so. rally track, absolutely. Okay, neat. And uh, oh, the other interesting thing about the board, very minor detail, yeah. but people will notice that the first player marker is now in the rear. Instead of and that was the case on the position. other side of this board too, wasn't Correct, it? Correct, yes. Yeah. Um, so what happens here yeah, is what's, what's going on? basically these animals will block spaces, uh, and so you need to move around them. Right. But then as soon as the first car finishes their turn past the uh, animal, it moves to the next space on the track. And it'll uh, keep moving yeah. down the board, and then at the end it'll come off the board. Right, right. What that does is, but then once it's through there, now it's opened up for the other cars to move through freely. So it's always kind of uh, the, the leader... Is always having to deal with yes, it more or less, exactly. right? So that's so, another little compression effect, exactly. I suppose. So in most games of downforce, you want to be the leader, stay in the lead, yeah. try and keep the lead the whole game. On this board in particular, you almost want to be second the kind whole game until the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I noticed there's these lines too. Is that something? Is that just a reminder of where it's going? Exactly. That okay. signifies where, and once the car passes that, then it moves to the gotcha. next spot, and then the snake moves around to all the little curves, and then it <laughs> opens up that inside track. There's also a, a split curve here, which is important because... If you're here, let's say you're way in the lead. Right. And let's say you're way in the lead and you're up to here now. And then sure. I play a card and I'm going to move you over there. You're stuck there until someone can pass here. Oh, right, right, right. So there's some interesting choke you. points in here. There's another one over here and so on. And for people who maybe haven't played before, just a reminder, like, yes, you have cars you're trying to help win, but you also can then bet on which cars you think will win. It might not be yours. So you're never really out because you've yeah. always got the opportunity to make some earnings just off of the cars you think are going to win the, win the race, and this is going to mess with your ability to interpret that. For sure, <laughs> yeah. You've got these animals to deal with. Like too. I said, if, if you're a gamer and you've enjoyed yeah. playing Downforce with your kids and your family, but and your gaming group, you know, maybe you're getting 
Uh, it's getting a little easy for you. This right. will definitely ramp up the strategy a little bit. And is, when's this going to be available? This street dated yesterday. Oh, fantastic. So it's available now. So I can just take this with me when we're Absolutely. done. Perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Justin, for giving us an overview of this expansion and all of you. Thanks for watching.